My name is Proteus, and this is the story of my death and my rebirth. The story began on what was once a smaller railway to the much more popular Midsodor. The Skarloey Railway. The railway ran from Provensgate Station up to Skarloey. Just a drick for Lake in the Woods. Another station on the line was called Reneus, so it took for divide of water. Which is how the railway's two engines got their names. And here, at the beginning of the story, things were not going well for them. How did it go? Well, as good as it can go at the moment. Which isn't very good. We have to keep going. Otherwise the railway will close down. At least we'll be sent off to the Midsodor Railway. It seems nice enough there. I agree. It'll never match working here though. So Topham Hat and I have spoken and he's arranged to get us a new engine. A new engine? That's excellent news. That means, as of tomorrow, you will no longer be needed. But where will we be going? We? Oh, the SKR still needs you. Scar Lowy can stay in the shed. But, Scar Lowy's the face of the railway. We can't not have him. We can't afford him. Reneus, it's okay. No, Scar Lowy, it is not okay. You were named after this railway and you were here before me. I won't just let you be left alone in the shed. But there was nothing Reneus could do. Scar Lowy was sent to the shed, forced to watch the standard gauge engines rush past him, and Reneus as well. They moved him every now and then, but he was very bored. This is where I come in. Hello, you must be Scar Lowy. I've heard great things about you. Ha ha. Well, it's more like the right stories have spread more than the wrong ones. Wrong ones? What wrong ones? Well, I used to be younger, you know. I was a little disagreeable back then, especially to Reneus, when all he wanted was to work hard. I didn't understand how bad the railway was doing, and my actions were making it worse. Don't worry about that. That was a long time ago. Oh, my name's Proteus, by the way. We probably should have started with that. <laughs> Your railway's beautiful. It is. And you're going to be a great help in recovering it. I hope so. I like your lamp, by the way. Me too. I can't remember where it came from, but it says Burnett on the bottom of it. I think there's something special about it, though. Maybe it's a magic lamp. What would a magic lamp do? Make wishes come true. Proteus. The Skarloey Railway is starting a new night service to Lakeside. Your special lamp will be perfect to light the way. Thank you, sir. It looks amazing! Why can't we go up there? What do you mean? We're far too big to fit on the narrow gauge tracks. I do wonder who that new engine is though. It doesn't really look like Skarloey or Aeneas, does it? That night, I took my first ever train on the Skarloey Railway. The moon hung high in the sky, almost as if it was watching me, and the tiny lampposts illuminated my journey, along with my special lamp. 
It was strange being up and about when the rest of the world was asleep. The serenity was nice. As I pulled into Reneus, I realised something. I was this railway's last hope. I'd arrived to save it. Scarlowy would be left in the shed forever if I didn't help. And Reneus, who had been mended more recently, would be made to work without the brother he'd worked with for 80 years. Everything depended on me. And suddenly, the moon wasn't a guardian of the skies. It was looking down on me evilly, waiting to see me fail. Fail Scarlowy, Reneus, and the whole railway. Proteus! Proteus, we need to go! Oh, right. Sorry. The passengers enjoyed their trip. In fact, they loved it. So much so that more and more people wanted to come to the island just to experience the magical lights. It's utterly preposterous. The Skarloey Railway is stealing our passengers. Don't worry, Gordon. We're not going anywhere. Besides, the narrow gauge link between Krogansgate and Vickerstown hasn't been used in years. That means that the more people visit the Skyloway Railway, the more people need to use our services to get from Vickerstown to Crohn's Gate. Hmm... I guess you're right. Your service is doing well. Wait, what? Oh, 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 hello sir. Yes, it is. I'm very proud of you, and I've really done you a disservice by not having your name attached oh, to- Oh, that won't be necessary, sir. I'd rather just work for the happiness it brings people to- No, no, I insist. Although your name doesn't start with an L. We might have to do something about that. I'll speak to our marketing department and see what they can do. We have a marketing department now? This is the first time hearing about it. Haha, <laughs> well, it's all good news, I suppose. How are your first few days going? Oh, good enough. Good enough? You've saved our railway. I guess. Proteus, stop being so humble. If you don't take pride in your accomplishments, you'll feel like you've done nothing. But I haven't done anything. I just took a few trains. Listen to Skarloey. He knows what he's talking about. If only you would listen to me, Reneus. Fair point, fair point. But don't act like you listen to yourself. When was the last time you boasted about your accomplishments? I'm not saying you should boast about your accomplishments, I'm just... Good morning, Proteus. I've spoken to our marketing department, and they've agreed there's nothing we can do, so we will not be able to put you in the marketing. Okay, sir. But, we have agreed to have a statue built of you. It's being sent over from the mid Railway in a few months. Thank you, sir. Your next run is at 8pm tonight. Make sure to be there on time. And during the day, as Renaes is taking the regular passengers, you can go to the slate incline and collect trucks to be brought back to the station. Yes, sir. I eventually arrived at the incline at the north end of the railway. I shunted together empty trucks and pushed them up the slope. Now, be careful this time. 
You need to focus and pay attention to what you're doing. Yes, yes, of course. Then I made my way around to the other track to collect the loaded trucks. Let's pump them up the tracks! Yes, let's do it! What did I just say? The trucks had failed to knock me off the tracks. But they'd caused a big mess. It was going to be very expensive to clean up. Proteus, I am very disappointed in you. You were supposed to save the railway, not put it out of business. Destroying the incline is going to have a big impact on Sorry, our- Sorry sir, it's just- We will have to close down. From now on, I am no longer your controller, or your manager. You will all be sold to the Midsoda Railway, if they'll take you. Proteus, what did you do? I- uh, I am sorry. It's okay, the trucks will give any engine trouble. It was all my fault. I'd caused the death of a railway decades old. Skyloe and Renee's home was being closed forever. Because of me. And I didn't deserve to be forgiven. I'd been clumsy with the trucks, provoking them to cause trouble. I'd taken over Skyloe's place, and I'd ruined everything for everyone who loved the Skyloe railway. I didn't deserve to be forgiven. And so I just left. But I knew I had to go back. I wasn't making anything better by leaving the others. They needed support during this time, and it was wrong of me to leave because I didn't deserve to belong. It wasn't about whether I belonged or not, it was about Skarloey and Reneas. But I never made it back. I was gone, and nobody cared. All the engines on the northwestern went about their days, working hard, and the lakeside posters slowly fell down. It's funny how people just move on like that. Scarlow and Renee were sad, of course, but they had bigger priorities. Oh, poor Proteus. He just got here and I wish... I just wish everything was better. For Proteus and the railway. And then... Everything was better. I was back! Well, kind of. Now I'm more like a magical guardian. I can watch out for the narrow gauge engines, of which there are several more now, and let's just say, give them the extra magic they need to keep going. We got a new controller, so Topham Hat, or the Fat Controller as they call him. He had the incline repaired, and the railway did not close down. Hopefully that's the last time a Hughes Falcon 042 ST class narrow gauge steam locomotive will be damaging this incline. More engines were brought on to help the Skyloe Railway. So Handel, Peter Sam, Rusty, we fixed the bridge. Duncan, I'm a plain speaking engine, our speakers are fine. Tunnels should be tunnels and not rabbit holes. Sometimes that little spark of magic. The reminder of how incredible our railway is, is all we Skarloey railway engines need to keep going. Sometimes that little spark of magic is what makes life worth living. And you don't need a magical lamp either. You just need to create the spark yourself. 
Scarlo never knew that his passing comments of the lamp had brought me back. The lamp disappeared after his wish and ended up somewhere else, where another engine would discover it just as Scarlo did. Hello, Thomas. Hello, I brought some steel winches and wire to mend the incline. I can't believe that thing broke again. Listen, Thomas. Scarlo is telling us a story from the hills. That's why we're here? To listen to an old story? Pa! Don't worry, I'll tell him another time. Okay, Scarlo, what's the story? Long, long ago, there was an old engine called Proteus. Thank you.